So people are going to get mad because this is mock draft 5,972. Actually, it's number two. Uh, but we already got feedback. It's like, uh, so it's funny. The mock drafts are like a-holes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. <laughs> <laughs> or opinions, uh, wh- wh- whatever. But yeah, maybe we did too much trading in the first draft. It's whatever. So no, no trades in this one. Just sticking and picking. And yes, since Senior Bowl's going on, uh, I'm going to lean into a couple more Senior Bowl guys. But uh, recap of what went on: Miles Murphy at one. Uh, so it looks like the Bears didn't trade out of here. But Miles Murphy, ooh, really? Oh, rare. Bryce Young at 12. Uh, so Bryce Young and Christian Gonzalez, two nice pieces. So you got your quarterback of the future, as well as D'Amico Ryans gets himself uh, another great corner. All right, so Stingley and Gonzalez, it's pretty good, man. Jalen Carter goes to the Birds. Uh, Will Levis goes to the Colts. Quarterback two, Tyree Wilson. I, I think that the Seahawks actually could go quarterback here, but uh, they get a great pass rusher in Wilson. Uh, then they have uh, Brian Bruzzi uh, go into the Lions. Uh, Anthony Richardson, uh, number seven. CJ Stroud, number eight to the Falcons. Wow. Will Anderson. What? How the hell does Will Anderson fall all the way at nine, man? Whatever. Uh, Paris Johnson, Quentin Johnston uh, goes to the. Uh, yeah. I, 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 like, I like Paris Johnson, where. The, they get the heir apparent to Lane Johnson. Probably stick him at guard for a hot second. Who knows? But uh, Quinn Johnson goes to the Tennessee Titans. Witherspoon goes to the Jets. That's unfair. That's unfair, man. Uh, Lucas Van Ness goes to the Patriots. Skaronsky going to the Greasy Grandma Green Bay Packers. Um, I don't know. Maybe he kicks inside the guard. It's possible. Or maybe they do see him as the heir to Bakhtiari. Or at least the contingency plan. Meyer goes there. Brian Branch, one of my favorite guys, goes to the Steelers. Which... You got Brian Branch and Minka Fitzpatrick in the same defensive backfield, man. Like two very versatile defensive pieces uh, coming from Alabama. I love it. Zay Flowers uh, finds a way into round one. I like to see that. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba go into the Bucks. Now, this could be a quarterback, possibly. Antoine Harrison, Joey Porter Jr., Nolan Smith. All right, so we're on the board. <sighs> a lot of interesting things going on. So, Bajan is there. And that may just end the mock draft where, I mean, Kwesi is this analytics guy, but Bajan is special. Like, even though he plays a very undervalued position, Jordan Addison is a stud. Cam Smith, Osiris uh, Torrance, uh, obviously is fantastic. Trent Simpson is a heat-seeking missile. Uh, him and Asamo would be fantastic together. Luke Musgrave, even though not a position of need, is a stud. Andre Carter is interesting. BJ Ujolari, uh, of course. Uh, si- Siaka Ika. So what do we do here? Now, uh, of course, this greatly depends on what the Vikings do in free agency. If they shore things up uh, in the trenches, then all of a sudden that's not as big of a need. But, you know, we're going to make it spicy. I-, I love me some Trenton Simpson. All right, so he goes to the Vikings. So the Vikings have that linebacker uh, locked up. So uh, Sims, uh, uh, Trenton as well as uh, Asamoah, uh, since they're probably going to move on from Kendricks and they're definitely cutting Hicks this offseason. Um, could, could certainly be uh, some need there. So, top. So, Noah Sewell is still there in the third. <clears throat> Does he get that far? I don't know. I, I do like a, a Vela. Clark Phillips. I mean, I, I doubt that Clark Phillips gets to this stage. Voorhees is super interesting as well. Uh, all right. So, we're going Clark. Are you serious, Clark? All right. So, we got the cornerback. We got the linebacker. Now, wait for. Now, we're into the fourth. All right, so up at the top, you got Trey Palmer, who's a stud. You got Moffey. You got Wooden. Martin uh, is there, the more, a little bit more or less heralded uh, of the uh, Illinois cornerbacks. Spears is interesting. Tavai, I like a lot. Um, let's see here. Hafner. I don't know. I don't know. Like, is, is it too early to go quarterback? Possibly. Palmer's there. Mims. Mingo is certainly interesting. I, I do like Hutchinson a lot as well. Charlie Jones is a little bit later on. Tyler Scott. Uh, so it's something that you could certainly address there. We haven't hit on interior offensive line or defensive line, uh, as it were. We've got Prawn there. Mafi, I do enjoy quite a bit. Uh, defensive interior. Pickens Devine. Broderick Martin is super interesting. DJ Dale, I like a little bit later on. We can grab him later. Uh, all right, so let's – actually, is there any tackles that we like kicking inside? Uh, not particularly. Nah, nah. All right, so we're going to look at interior offensive line. Moffy's right up there at the top. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go him. All right, so we've got the OG. Still looking for wide receiver. Still looking for defensive interior. Possibly looking for edge rusher. Yeah. Uh, Deuce, Vaughn, Deuce Vaughn's a lot of fun. I mean, we are in the fifth round, I guess, aren't we? Where, yeah. I might just do it. Although Jackson Kirkland is there just looking at me. Um, you know, we're, we're going to double dip on, on guards. I right, said so we got Kirkland uh, as well as we got Mafi. So feeling pretty good about addressing the interior offensive line. Uh, so Brayden Daniels there, Charlie Jones. I've been taking Charlie Jones a lot. Ronnie Bell. Yeah, we're going Ronnie Bell. All right, so we're going Ronnie Bell in this spot. I think that he's a very solid technician coming out of Michigan. It's the remix. Uh, so I, I generally like taking Mo here, but I don't know. I mean, Mo's had a lot of carries for a college player. DJ Dale is really showing up and showing out at the Senior Bowl. Uh, so we're going to go with him in the, with the fifth or sixth, whatever. Um, again, these are like projected compensatory picks. I mean, the Vikings may really end up with five picks, but they got six in the spot. So I'm mad at it at all. Uh, rounding it out, analyzing a plus 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 plus. Come on, go short. It's a birthday. All right, so take a look at our mock draft. Uh, they gave us a B minus, which ain't bad. So I got Trenton Simpson, um, immediate starter right away. Simpson and Asamoah uh, will be the dynasty going forward as their two linebackers. And it doesn't matter if they're in a three four or four three or three three five or you know four two five nickel whatever. Uh, the Vikings uh, are going to have their two linebackers of the futures uh, right there. Clark Phillips, who I think is super underrated, probably doesn't end up uh, at the back end of the third round, but we will certainly take it. Uh, they got two guards. We have the meats. Mafia as well as Kirkland uh, filling things up there, potentially pushing uh, Ezra, potentially pushing uh, Ed Ingram. They got Ronnie Bell in the mix as wide receiver in the fifth round. Uh, and they got DJ Dale in, in the sixth, uh, who's a guy that I like a lot, is really stepping up nicely at the senior bowl but uh that's it uh quick and dirty seven round pff mock draft for the minnesota fighting vikings let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes want to support the work put a little something in the venmo but to next time skull production value